emotional was this week for the team? And I guess how emotional was it to get this win after everything that it sounds like from Coach Giannis said transpired? Um, you know, the, the emotions right now are running wild, not just with myself, but throughout the entire team. Um, you know, this entire season has been challenging for us. Um, we've let a, a couple of close games slip away, you know, from not chopping our jobs. And, you know, we knew this game was going to come down to that. You know, today was a it was a 12-round boxing match. You know, guys exchanging blows the entire game, a lot of different uh, changes of events. But it came down to us wanting it more in the end. And, you know, I'm just so thrilled to be part of this football team. It means the world to be on this team playing for Coach Giano and, you know, sharing this moment with my teammates. Bobby Darren, 24-7. Mike, can you talk about that last sack you made in overtime, you know, and, and what it's like to have that play, you know, contribute so greatly to the win? Um, definitely, you know, that's just, that's a tribute to the entire D-line. You know, the, the play was designed for, you know, certain guys to come free, and I was one of those guys that came free, and, you know, Mike Dwumfor, Elm Lumore, they came off the edge, did their thing, and pushed a quarterback right up to me, so... You know, that's a tribute to them. That's a tribute to the coaching, the coaches' play calls. And, you know, I was just fortunate enough to make that play and put us in a position to win the game. Chris Eisman, Gannett. Mike, like you said, it's obviously been a tough season um, the entire time. But have you been able to get a sense just of how how differently people view this program now from the outside and, and just kind of how uh, the perception has changed this year as opposed to previous seasons? Um, definitely. You know, a lot of people, you know, never really respected our program for a couple of years in the past. And, you know, just being able to turn things around so quickly through Coach Yano's leadership and the staff and the, the team we've built, you know, it's been a great experience. And, you know, it's something I'm really thankful for being a Richard Jr., you know, 22-year-old man now. And, you know, stuff like this doesn't come around often, but, you know, it's going to start coming around more often, you know, as we keep building this thing. And I'm just really fortunate to be a part of it, and I can't wait to see where it goes. Chris Orowski with Rivals. Hey, Mike, uh, we saw a lot of guys go down today, especially on defense. What can you say about the way they all came, you know, came back in the game and, and battled and made it through? Um, there was definitely a lot of guys hurt, you know, not just with us, but the opposing team as well. And, you know, we're getting into December. It's cold weather, you know, football, you know, temperature plays a role in everything. And, you know, we're getting towards the end of the season. So a lot of guys' bodies are breaking down, but, it just comes down to us chopping and realizing that we need to count on each other. And, you know, we're, we have a team full of really tough guys and, you know, they did an excellent job of, you know, persevering through their pain and getting back in the football game when we needed them. So that's, that's a tribute to their toughness. More questions. Steve Politti, NJ.com. Hey, Mike, uh, Kirk Panna revealed that a couple of players lost relatives to uh, COVID-19 this week. And, you know, given what's going on in the world, I, I can imagine that really must have hit close to home for you guys. I mean, how did you rally around them? Can you give us some insights on, you know, how the team pulled together? Um, you know, that was definitely a, a tough time for our team. You know, Avery, Aaron, Najee, you know, those are all guys that are really big part of this family. And, you know, but at the end of the day, that's what this program is built around. It's built around family. So, you know, forgetting about me, I love you. That's what we talk about. And, you know, those guys, you know, we came right to them when we heard the news and, you know, we just made sure we were surrounding them with love, support, you know, generosity, because, you know, it, it just, it's a wake up call for what's really out there. And, you know, people, people may think they're invisible, but they're not. And, you know, it just goes to show how quickly you can lose, lose a loved one. So we just, we cherish every moment we have together and we're just thankful for each other. And just to follow up, you know, Greg Cannon was, was crying on the field. Was he as emotional in the locker room? Um, yeah, I would say dancing part too, but we were all dancing, you know, it was, it was a real blast. Um, you know, it's really hard to win games in this league. You know, the Big Ten is the Big Ten for a reason. And, you know, as long as we keep finding ways to win and, you know, getting better every single week, I think this thing's really going to take off. And I'm excited for what's in store for us. James, final question? Mike, uh, that's three Big Ten wins on the road. I didn't win a Big Ten game. I mean, what does that mean to you, a guy who's been around through everything, to have that many? I think it ties the school record for wins in the conference. Um, you know, it means the world, you know, people need to start taking Rutgers serious now. And I think that they have been, you know, in the past, you couldn't say that. And the way we've been playing all our football games this year just shows how much we've improved in one single year. So, um, you know, that's just, again, that's thanks to Coach Giano, his staff, the team we've built, the, the toughness we've built within the program and just learning to worry about one play at a time and not focus on the next player, 
you know, the next quarter. But if everybody in the program does their job, then ultimately we're going to achieve the, the success we want. Mike. Thank you, guys.